Right, well, it seems these guys are not going to take any trouble. They're going to jump right into the second map, so we'll join them up here. Now, of course, second map here, first map win in favor of SAG, a massive, sorry, win in favor of Lowland Lines, a massive 13 2. Let's see if SAG can redeem themselves on their map. It'll be MP underscore Crossfire. Not that we ever call it MP underscore, we call it Crossfire. Now you're on Crossfire as a knife will take place. Of course, this is just to decide who takes what side. It's going to be a little bit important here, of course. The attacking side will be the more preferred side for the team that wants to rack up those rounds and put all the pressure on the on the other team when they have to go into attack. SAG once again winning the knife here. Let's see what they choose. I'm going to be assuming attack. If they just start reading up, yeah. It looks like they're going to be saying stay. So they are on the attacking side already. Lone Lines now on defense. SAG now need to make everything they can here on the attacking side. They need to pull out all the stops and just nail this one down and just get it done with. They can do it. This is their map. This is their choice. This is their, their, the side that they've been able to choose. Like, literally, they've, cho they've chosen every aspect about this match so far. So now it's just down to them to seal it off. Oddy now scoping up into mid. We will see Senzai with the first frag there onto bullets. Oddy falling back into the spawn building. And, uh, ooh, loads of pressure coming up here on the light side. Pizarro's are being very aggressive first round, trying to find all the gaps, and he's definitely found one in the first round. We have to shut him down. Shoes now making his way into Watermelon. He's going to be trying to peek out into that B alley, just making sure everything is clear. He does not want to be caught off guard. Delroo peeking around, though. Oh, sneaky Lowland Lions SMGs. Sneaky, sneaky. Senzai takes out Shoes. Dalry peeking out, oh, moving out the lower of the spawn building. Takes out Oddy. Rev is now your last man standing, and it must be an unnerving thing knowing that you've got Lowland Lions pretty much crawling around you. We'll see him peek out here on Bialy. He has actually spotted the scope for Lone Lines. Can he get the frag? Oh, sorry, it was Prophecy. Takes him out. And now trying to go back. Trying to take out Delry. Unfortunately, not going to happen for him. And Delry will get that or finish off the first round here. Didn't start off the same way as he did with his four frags in the previous map. But hey ho, two frags. I'd still be happy with that. Let's actually take it away with Del Where is Delry? Going through the street, his teammate Pizarro is going to be pushing up through mid. Looks like nades, flashes, and smokes being very much dedicated towards that light. Pizarro is going to get the rush right up the street. He's literally got players all around him. Guys for the first one. Rev quickly flicks back, lands an AK headshot onto Pizarro. So unlucky from Pizarro in the end. Buller gets himself two frags. They're punishing uh, Lowland Lions for being so aggressive. And SOG actually in a position now where they could win this round. Well, definitely in a position where they could run this round. They've got the two-man advantage. They've been baiting out the nades that have been landing on the bomb side. Rev going in for the plant. Bullet takes a couple of tags here over on Watermelon. And now Rev trying to peek out. Or sorry, move into Watermelon. Vato takes out Rev though. And now we will see how the SAG defense comes into the play. The bomb was planted right by the wall, so they would be able to wall bang it as majority of the left of the team left alive for SAG. Oh, actually on that side of the map. So they shouldn't have too much trouble stopping the defuse. Vader seems to be going to try to lean into the bubble though, still exposing himself to bullet. will have the SMG fire sprayed right at him. And that'll be SAG picking up their first round on the attacking side. Which is how it should be done, of course. I mean, I mentioned it there to you guys. Now moving on here into the third round already seems the action has been flying up the kill feed. Bullet Damp and Pizazu all down here for Lowland Lions. Del Rue is not going to be averted though and he will, sorry, diverted and he will definitely still carry on pushing up here through life. Play off to his left hand side. It is Oddy. Oddy with an SMG. And uh, has actually picked it up from his fallen teammate. And now trying to find his counterpart Senzai who is... Just below that ruined area. Takes out Rev with a stunning headshot. And now finds a the shot there onto Oddy. Fantastic stuff. Shoes your last man standing now. He's laying on the bomb. And uh, he's going to come under heavy fire once his position has been let known. Spray coming in through Cafe. Vato goes down. And that'll push it to 2-1. Looking strong so far from the Lowland Line side. They've just been performing nearly every round. Senor Prophecy is uh, not doing so well as of yet. Let's give him some love with the AK. I'm pretty sure it was an AK. Although I'm not finding him. There we go. There's an AK. I was just pressing the wrong binds. I apologize. You know how I love flicking through players. Looks like it's not going to go his way this round. 
as Rover the AK at the top of the street takes him out. Del Rue revenging his fallen teammate, though. And that'll be two Franks going towards him. Shoes pushing up towards the top of the A side. Has actually got a good little position here to take out Del Rue if he wants to. Does do so. Del Rue shots pretty much carving out a picture perfect lining of Shoes in the wall behind him. Vato on that B alley was not spotted, though. And this will mean that Rev is now your last player. One on two is going to go in favor of Lowland Lions as this now stand three for one on the overall scoreboard. But the big question is, can Senor Prophecy get himself a frag this round? It is the question that is bearing on everyone's mind. Senzai opening up with a shot onto Oddi. Scope on scope action. Senzai coming out on top. Prophecy seeming hungry for a frag. Gets one with a nade, but we're not going to say that counts. He has to get a gun frag. He shouldn't just sneak out of this one with a simple... Oh, he has put a play towards level height. Is it going to go chasing? He knows that Shoes, as the Shoes just killed his teammate. Now, he is very exposed here on the street. He's trying to look under the car for anyone crossing. And now... Oh, he's just looking at the right places, but just at the wrong time. And the players now are crossing over to the bomb side. He's still got good positioning here from lower line to stop the bomb line. Has spotted Bullet. Takes him out with a fantastic headshot. And now it will move up into lower light. Bomb should be going down in a second, or at least attempting to. Although she's coming up in a heavy nade and gunfire. Tags up Prophecy. Prophecy just going to back off. Let his health regen. No, Prophecy being very aggressive and gets punished for it. I mean, obviously gets punished for it. This is this is stupid Prophecy. Really, man. Now she's moving on to the bomb. He wants to move on to the bomb. Although he seems very hesitant at this point in time. So they've got 30 seconds left on the clock. As you can hear, the timer start ticking away. Sands are coming in from back A. And that's going to be the final blow onto the SAG team for the round. And that'll push it up to 1-4 in favor of Lowland Lions. And it just looks like they cannot get out the blocks. Let's take it away here with Bullet from the attacking side with that SMG. Will he be going for a nice little aggressive A push? Oh, yes, he does do so. Unfortunately for him, he's got... The enemy pushing up right behind him and as much ground as he's gained. It's unfortunately just been massively decimated by the Lowland, Line SMG, Lowland Lions SMGs pushing up into his spawn. And uh, well, the man we started will be the man we finish with as he is now the last man standing. One versus four does not have the bomb with him. Misses the jump there onto the railing. Tries to go for it again. I think he's just trying to bait out someone back A, although he is mistaken. There is no one there. Deagle out. Low, spray coming in from lower light. Not connecting with anything. Well, they're getting a little bit tagged up. He should be able to regen before encountering anyone else again. He knows there's someone to be early. He's going to re peek it once more. Unfortunately, the Deagle fire just not connecting. Now, 55 seconds left on the clock. And, ooh, Senor Prophecy coming in from behind, doing the little wall bounce onto the railing. And that'll mean that it is now 5 1, four rounds difference in favor of Team Lowland Lions. They're looking pretty good here to secure themselves a spot here in the playoffs, which they no doubt will be happy with. They've been rampaging through the group stages winning all the games so far and now with Oddi once more it just looks I mean a, a scope shouldn't have to go back to try and cover your backside as much as Oddi is doing it so well gets himself two frags nearly a third and fourth as he lined up those last two players but I mean he went from trying to attack to picking up his teammates SMG or sorry Deagle and uh, his own Deagle and then trying to defend himself which I really feel is where the, the whole point of defense is being missed here from Team SAG now, with Shoes taking out Senzai, Prophecy takes out Shoes, Rev on to Prophecy, Vato's your last man standing, he is actually on the bomb, and he's going for straight defuse. Yeah, why not? Give it a shot. Unfortunately, not working, though, and this will mean that we do now sit on a 2-5 scoreline. SAG finally picking, up the, picking themselves up a second game. Oh, sorry, second round is what I meant. Oddi onto the sand side. It's a good start here for SAG. Can they get themselves another quick plant here onto the bomb side? Dam takes up. Pazolza rushing onto the street. Oh, bomb was going to go down. But Prophecy predicts it gets an early nade out to prevent any rush rush plants. And now with Delry taking our Dam, Rev getting the revenge frag. Only two players left for SAG. There's actually a possibility that they could go for the plants. And especially with Oddi taking out Veto, it means that Prophecy is now your last man standing. AK in hand has got the A building, which is a very good spot to de um, defend any B plants from. Unfortunately, very exposing. And uh, as soon as he starts shooting towards that B-bomb, his position being given away, I doubt there's much to be able to do to stop himself being killed. Bullet being taken out, and unfortunately, Prophecy now thinks he is clear. Ooh, actually sneaks out of the gunfire. Now trying to go for that plant. 
He lands a couple of attacks through the wall. Can he kill off Odie? Oh no. He has spotted him. Takes out Odie and now dropping down towards back. Can he land the final break on this brave? He can. And will be able to pick up the one versus three to save his team. I say save his team. To put his team further into the lead. Fantastic stuff from Prophecy to bring back that round. I did not expect him to take that one away. But instead, trust the AK on top A, on crossfire, takes out the bomb planter, and the final two players pushing up towards him. I don't think he could have done it any better than that. Quick look over at the scoreboard there, we will see Prophecy now on 11 frags, only 5 deaths after 7 rounds. So uh, a very good ratio for him. Oh, he spots an A flying right in front of him, will fall all the way back, loads of smoke on the street, and uh, his teammates are actually being pushed up on towards the bus side. Rev prepared though, takes out Pazazu. Dalru's also been a little bit aggressive, takes out Rev. Shoes with a reply though, and now SAG, the two-man advantage as they move on into the later stages of the round. Can Senzai and Prophecy bring this round back for them? Senzai just needs to grab one frag, and Prophecy will do the rest with another one versus three. And uh, Senzai not actually spotting Bullet as Bullet was walking up towards him. I did think he would have seen that SMG moving into his direction. Unfortunately not. Only with the final frag, that's going to take a 2-3-6. Still in favor of Lowland Lines. That's still a three-round difference. And uh, if SHG finish this one off on 6-6, six, six, I think they've got some hope, although I really feel the attacking side needs to have the advantage. Dalra being very aggressive. He had a front spawn, and he's definitely going to use it to his full advantage. Unfortunately, Bullet in a very good position to defend against the rushers, and that'll be... Delru going down. Vader takes out shoes. Bullet with a reply onto his Pizazu. Lola lines once again with a player behind. And they've got to be careful about all this aggressive play. Uh, so they will start being picked off very quickly. Prophecy takes out Oddie. Rev with a reply. <laughs> Don't know how, but he did squeeze that one in. Rev going with the plant. Nothing is stopping him. Fire coming in from behind. Nothing connects though. Dam takes out Vato. Vato. Senzai is your last man alive. Scope in hand. Spray coming in from B Alley and SMG fire from the front. I don't know if he's going to expect that that was the play from top A though. Lands the shot onto Bullet. I don't know why they're peeking Senzai. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the, the skills available to this man. Available? The skills this man possesses is what I meant. So with the, the gap being closed, just that one more round takes it to... 4-6, SAG seeing, being a little bit more aggressive, but they're all sitting back in the f opening seconds. They do sit in tight, make sure that the aggressors aren't being aggressive that round, and uh, if they are, it does take them out before moving over towards the bomb site. And uh, I think they've realized the massive gap. There was no one towards A. They've already got all five players towards the A bomb site. Rev and Damp grab frags. Vader with a frag onto shoes, although they actually were Sorry, Lola and Lions now all rotating, moving back towards the A-bomb side. Bomb goes down, but Lola and Lions just cleaning up the loss of their SOG players. And they should be able to get in this defuse. Vader tagged up, just got to be careful his teammates don't kill him, although I definitely see that being a possibility, Explosives because it's Lola and Lions. 4-7, Lola and Lions definitely going to be happy with this half-time score, even if it does end on 7-5. They push it to 8-4, once again, going to be a slightly Lola and Lions biased attacking side. As of the attacking side, should be the easier side. Are you going to try and go for the peek through the smoke? Unfortunately, he won't be able to spot anything moving. And with that, Lolan Lions capitalizing. Senza grabs himself a frag. Vator with a nade frag. And Delru actually snuck himself onto the bomb side. SMG in hand takes out. Bullet tries to go for another one. Spray coming in from behind. His movement is fantastic today. And is able to dodge all those bullets. And uh nestles himself here in on top of the shelf, making him look like a product in the good old watermelon building. Now Rev going to back towards the spawn building area. No doubt trying to look for a little bit of an advantage point, although you can see he definitely is very nervous about the players over on towards B. The problem is that the bomb is there, so he has to move out, here, out of here one other point to try and get that bomb. Rev starts moving forward. Still trying to find something. It looks like they're just trying to find Delru on their B-bomb site. They can do that, bring it back to a 2-1-2. Two -two. They're definitely going to feel way more comfortable trying to get that bomb down. Unfortunately, they haven't spotted anything just yet. Rev is repeating his viewing process, constantly looking in the same direction. Jumps out towards the locker's building. Delru is still sitting very patiently in here in Watermelon, and he will actually have a play coming in towards his left-hand side any second. Then the position was called but his discipline definitely will reward him with the frag. 
Oddy is now your last man standing. And Veto coming in from Bialy will shut down Oddy. That's going to push it to 8 4 at the half. Fantastic stuff so far from Little Lions. A real demonstration of skill. And they're just going to ready up once again. They're just going to carry on pushing forward. They don't want to stop at all. Although while they're ready up, we'll just say, guys, do go check us out on Twitter and Facebook. This is forward slash quad V on each of them. And then all our videos on demand are available over at quad V TV on YouTube. If you guys want to check me out, I am Menace. I'm at Menace on Twitter. I'm forward slash Menace FPS on Facebook. If you guys have got any questions about the stream, do feel free to contact me through, anyone, through any one of those media. And I'll be more than happy to give you the answer. So... SAG now moving on to the defending side. Lola Lines on attack. And this is the problem that I see for SAG at the moment because Lola Lines were very aggressive even while on defense. So unless SAG try to pull the same thing, then Lola Lines no doubt are going to be all over this bomb site within 10 seconds from start. And uh, Bullet trying to hold off this A site. Prophecy already peeking out towards Cafe. Oddie's sitting in Cafe, oddly enough. And uh, ooh, Prophecy getting a couple of tags out there onto Bullet. Bullet just going to be able to regen his health. As Delru takes out shoes. Prophecy moves back up towards the top of his light area. The bomb is going down. But it won't be able to do anything over towards this A-side. It's all down to his players over at Cafe. Nades being drawn out. Rev takes out Prophecy. Dam falling back. He's going to be able to get his nade out towards that bomb site. And this is where Little Lines might have... Sorry, where SAG might have the upper hand. As they're able to just get those nades out onto the bomb. Ooh, and Bullet all the way back at spawn. Deagle in hand. Ta oh, takes a couple of pot shots, lands a couple onto Del Rue. Del Rue's going to hide away and get, get a quick regen. As Bullet now peeks towards the top of the street. Sends out, trying to watch their spawn. Oddie takes out Del Rue. One versus three. Spray coming in from the side once again, just completely distracting him. Really well timed there from Bullet. Fantastic play for him just to put on that little bit of distraction. Even if he didn't land the kills, he caused way more than enough distraction for his teammates to lay the covering fire in towards that bomb site. So uh, fantastic stuff there from Bullet for his team. Pizzazzo now trying to rush over towards that bomb site. Although Oddie with escape from Cafe takes out Pizzazzo. And oh, Shoes definitely wants to get inside this bus. Has he been spotted though? I don't think he has. He's giving away his position. Takes out Del Rue, although it just means that they're in a 3 versus 3 situation. Let's actually play in cafe for the Lola and Lion side. Prophecy moving forward. Exposed to the streets. Got to be careful with his positioning, yep. As he may be spotted from B Alley, and he has been so, although that doesn't deter him at all. Carries are pushing forward, takes out bullets. That's bringing in towards cafe. He has been shot at from B Alley. I don't know why he isn't looking back that way, although Senzai. Just confirming that he has killed the player over towards Watermelons. Final player left is Mr. Rev. And AK over towards Runes. I don't think that's the best positioning that he could have had. Definitely think he could have helped out his teammates over at A. So 9-5 is your current scoreline. And uh, looking good for the line, line so far. SAG seems to have their moments of brilliance. They just need to start repeating those moments. And they definitely will have a fight on their hands. Damp tapping away towards top light as uh, Oddy just watching the street cross. None of his bullets connecting as of yet. Bullet trying to... Oh, sorry. Bullet pushing out. Takes out Vader. Pizzazzi into Cafe. Takes out Shoes. And now with Rev just heading back towards the ruins area once more. Oddy takes out Prophecy. Lola lines seem to be diminishing rather hard under the, de the defense here. And Damp with two lovely AK frags takes out the last two players. For Lola and Lions. And that's going to take it to 9 6. Only three runs difference. Lola and Lions need to start being a little bit worried here. As, uh, you know, SAG have pretty much been standing strong at the end of the rounds with at least three players still alive at the end of the rounds. Now, Veto rushing up here towards the bomb side. Looks like it's going to be a fast plant. Nade and Smoke goes out. He's going to try and time that, that plant with the nade going off. And I think he's done so. Bomb does go down. Lola and Lions just need to fall back. Prophecy takes out Bullet. Rev with a reply onto Prophecy though. Yeah. Lines need to make sure that they don't stack up here. Vatu and Pizzazzo are getting very comfy and close in the Waterman stand. Literally shooting through one e each other's legs at the moment. Or if you wanted to. We do see Shoes moving in on that B bomb site. Lines trying to surround the player as Pizzazzo does go down. 
Although Veto still there. SNG have actually turned the tides and they've got, ooh, they've got most of the frags. There's only Delru left standing. Takes out one, lands the second one. One versus three. Once again, for Lola Lions, can they clinch this one? There's not enough time to get the defuse in. And Delru has actually saved this one for his team. And that'll mean that they get themselves another round to push it to a four, sorry, a four round score difference. 10 6 scoreline at the moment. Looking good so far for Lowland Lions to close off their final game here in the groups with a very strong score. Hardy takes out Senzai with an opening frag. Good scope on scope action. Damp with an aid onto Pizarro and Shoes pushing all the way to the top of the street. Hardy with another one onto Veto. And Lowland Lions just absolutely decimated. And so they try to push towards the A site. Prophecy watching towards top A. Delru does take up Bullet, although he was heavily tagged up. Oddi's going to finish off that frag. Gets himself a hat trick of the round so far. Can he get himself a fourth, though? Prophecy laying down some covering fire, just saying, Oddi, go away. I don't, I don't need you to attack me right now, seriously. And uh, with that fiddling around on A at the moment, he has spotted a player over towards B alley. That is Damp getting slightly tagged up. Drops down to lower A. Rev's waiting in, or laying in wait. And that's going to be 10 7. Three round score difference once again. SAG, Rev and Oddy definitely coming a big for their team. As they just try and slow down this attack from Lowland Lions. Oddy once again in his cafe position. There's no smokes here from Lowland Lions at the moment. And once the smokes have gone up, all Oddy can do is just hope and click and pretty much just beg something connects through the smoke. Lowland Lions with a man advantage for the first time in a couple of rounds. Dalry with a nade over towards that BLE side. Nothing connects. And bomb should be going down here any second. I don't know if there's any nades available here to the SAG side. I don't think so. Has Vate actually got the bomb down? Pizarro's now moving around all over A. Does not spot any of the players just yet that are actually all around him. And are being pushed by two players. That is Rev and Oddi trying to move up on him. Damp over on the B side. Delru decides to fall back. He's not going to risk anything over on Watermelons either. Oddi now pushing up towards the top of the street. He's trying to clear something out. Has spotted Vader, although Vader with the AK has the distance advantage. And now Vader just dropping down onto the bomb. He will be able to tap under the bus. He has spotted a player actually moving over across that street. Delru laying in wait by the boxes. Easily gets... What? Does not easily get that frag. No oh dear Vader. He goes from a 1 versus 3 to not being able to close off the frag that he had the surprise advantage for. Oh, well, it happens sometimes. Only two more rounds in this one for Lola Lions if they want to try and win this one in quick fashion. Going to take it away here with Pizarro. He's going to be rushing through. Light. He's got his nade and smoke out. He gets a tag on the street. Going to carry on pushing forward. There's a play just on that window. Although Prophecy with a fantastic nade there onto Rev, actually. Sends on to Shoes. And now Pizarro's moving towards back eight. Won't find a play just yet. If he went a little bit longer, he might have gotten his luck handed to him. And he has his teammate... Reloading below him. Fire going out towards the back of A. Pizarro is so desperately wants to peek out towards the back A. He does finally do so. Takes out Bullet. Carries on pushing forward. He knows where the other player is. Has tagged up Oddi. Finishes him off with the Deagle. Damp is only lost man standing. And he's unfortunately timed out. And that's going to be 12-7. Oh man, that's a bummer. ASAG actually calling the timeout. They're deciding they're going to... They believe they still have the hope, and I have the hope in them to bring this one back. They only need the rest of the rounds here to bring a tie, and with that, going to an overtime. Although, they just want to try it out. Give themselves a shot on this one. So if you guys did just join us, as unfortunately you guys are a little bit late. This is the Fast Host Power Tournament. We're watching Lowland Lions play out against Stealth Assassin's Group. And uh, it is the second map, the second half. Lone Lines won the first map in a stunning 13-2 victory over on City Streets. Second map beam chosen by SAG. It was City Streets, or sorry, Crossfire. And we're currently sitting on a 12-7 scoreline. I've got one of the players just disconnecting or timing out. And it uh, should be back any moment, we hope. Other than that, there's a five-minute timeout function. We've got five minutes to chill and relax. So in this time, guys, I just want to say, please do follow us on Twitter. It's Quad V. On Facebook, we're also Quad V. And then on YouTube, we're Quad V TV. I am Menace, your host for this evening. And you guys can check me out at, at Menace on Twitter and forward slash Menace FPS on Facebook. Of course, you guys can go check out Lola Lions and uh, I believe Stealth Assassin's Group on Facebook. You just search their names. You should be able to find them and follow them. And make sure you stay up to date with their team happenings. But as we are unsure how long this one is going to take, I will hop on some music 
and we can just chill a bit while we wait. So, guys, stick around, as uh, we'll be right back after the timeout. back ladies and gentlemen we are now here just after the timeout where we saw one of the players for SAG disconnecting he is back though and uh, we should be able to finish this game off now five rounds left here it's 12-7 Lowland Lions just need one more round to clinch this game here in the group stage is Oddie here peeking up from cafe seeing if he can stop the Lowland Lions pushing over towards that B side doesn't seem like it's gonna happen though Pozzo being very aggressive gets taken out by his teammate that's so depressing now Vato deciding he's going to follow in suit, see if he can help out his teammates. Bomb is going down. I don't know if there's a nade to stop the plant, though. It doesn't seem so. Delroy gets that bomb down. And with that, ooh, Oddie peeks out onto the BL. He predicts Vato's going to be there. Pre-fires and it takes him out. Bullis now is going to be pushing up towards light. Gets towards the top of that street, seeing if he can um, try and prevent anyone stopping his teammates. Get that defuse in. It's not peeking out, though, as of yet. Ooh, he has actually spotted... Prophecy takes him out, although he's very much out of position. Oddy takes out Dalru, and the final player left standing is Senzai. He's actually been tagged with the nade. He's got to run out of there quickly, and he needs to try and stop the bomb plant too. Spots Oddy takes him out only 10 seconds left. There's no way the bullet can get to that bomb in time. And that's so unfortunate, but that's going to be the GG, guys. And that's going to be the Lowland Lions taking it 13 7 here in their final group game here of the Boss Host Power Tournaments.
And that'll be game 13-7. As you can see, GG's being called. Massive sportsmanship from both of these teams, though. Although, guys, that has been it. That is coverage done for this evening. The next time we will be covering this tournament will be the playoff stage where the big boys will be battling it out. It'll be the top guys from the groups moving on to the next round. Pretty much just sussing out all the ones that couldn't really push it through the groups. Although, massive well played to everyone that did participate in the group stages so far in this tournament. Massive shout out to Power Hosts, sorry, Fast Hosts, uh, and of course, Game Shadows sponsors for this tournament. As I said, once again, guys, do go check us out on Twitter and Facebook. It's in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. You guys can go check me out. I'm at Menace on Twitter and forward slash Menace FPS on Facebook. Massive love to everyone, though. We'll check you guys soon for more coverage. Go check out quadv.com. Our schedule will be on there. But for now, for this evening, I hope you guys have an awesome evening. Good night.